first proof. Harry is dishonest for revealing an uncut photo with Chelsea Davy in the new trailer. Hello friends, welcome to breaking news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. One of the pictures included in the Harry and Meghan docu-series teaser released last week included the Duke of Sussex's ex-girlfriend Chelsea Davy. However, it was cropped so subtly that many people couldn't recognize it as a photo taken when Harry and Chelsea were passionately in love. Obviously, this is proof that Harry and Meghan's series is completely untrue and staged. The cropped picture shows Harry trying to block a photographer's attempt to get a picture. It's obvious that the picture is being painted that he and Meghan are always chased by the paps, seeing as the next pictures show Meghan. The explanation that it is just a picture of him in his youth is rubbish. It's to back up to the Bank of Papa picture courtesy of the 2011 Harry Potter film release. So many lies and that was only in the trailer. What a couple of con artists. They're only fooling their few remaining sugars. Even they are gradually waking up to the reality of the hypocrites' lies. The lies have already started. In the UK and most of the USA, people either don't care or don't know the pair are inveterate liars and most of it will be lies or exaggeration. It is not the royal family they're trying to destroy, but the queen's legacy, of which she was so proud, the Commonwealth. The people in those countries do not see the information we've been following for all of Harry's life and have seen the interviews he's made when he praised his brother for getting him the mental help he needed, where he admitted Kate was like a sister to him. Why waste their time lying to us when we know the truth? That trailer is truly, utterly pathetic. Digging up a 15-year-old picture with his old girlfriend and using pictures that have nothing to do with them. The best part is the comment section on it. It's wonderful and hilarious. It's almost 250,000 dislikes and 21,000 likes. The Netflix show will go so badly and the show will make them even more unlikable. Right now, it seems they are on the path to becoming the most disliked royals in history. What is funny is that Harry and Meghan just can't stop. The narcissism is flooding and it's all for us to see. Don't believe a word of this or believe photos that can be set up. No photo of Harry in Nazi uniform, but him with an ex. And I would be horrified if I were that ex. When I go to a photo booth, mine does not hold a secret professional photographer, and who do I complain to that it doesn't? What man does not comfort his wife when she's crying? Harry, because he would get between his wife and the professional photographer. How can he live with himself? Meghan is a jealous grifter, but how can Harry relentlessly attack Catherine and William? Some of his happiest times were with them. Where are those photos? The green-eyed monster doesn't want those shown. That picture is of Harry in his youth when he turned into a party animal, along with the swastika incident. That would have been in the early morning leaving a club or party. He is trying to prevent the press from having a picture he might get in trouble over and probably has a skin full. Through that period, he really hated the press because they were good at catching him out. The picture with his hand up has been doctored to look like paps are in his face. The real pic shows him leaving the airport. Daytime, no flash, one pap. They cut out Chelsea. Another one is a picture of an American being papped. Nothing to do with him. He's not there. This is too stupid to be true. Wonder if Harry's partying naked in Vegas will make a re-show or his racist comments about his army colleague, or will virtuous Harry airbrush all that away too and describe it all as his personal pain speaking enough bleeding to the world? If this is Harry wanting a life in privacy away from cameras, that impact his mental health, God help the rest of his life. 
After netizens discovered this subtle lie about Harry, some people teased Meghan that the photo reminded them of the love story of the British prince and Chelsea Davy instead of her. One insider said, Chelsea always reminded me of Kate, a natural young woman with an amazing, genuine laugh. Harry should have chucked in his royal life and married her. He would have been happier. I'm sure when he walked away from the royals, duties he never envisaged, the life he's now doing anything to get in the press, and certainly no privacy thanks to himself and Meghan. We had a Meghan, which turned him against his family and his twin. We did think it was black magic in his case. Lots of prayer and holy water, and eventually he woke up after about four years. We went through hell, so I know very well how the family's feeling. Harry certainly courts the paparazzi now. For a man trying to protect his family from the media, he's not doing very well. Maybe if Harry and his wife stopped making up stories and getting their pictures in the media, you could call it protection. The pair are deluded. Did you see them in New York? They were just walking like a normal couple, and people there didn't notice them. They had some huge bodyguards, though. The only photographers taking pics of them is the one they call and tip they there are. They are truly incredibly pathetic. Now, let's analyze Harry's hateful words in the latest trailer. He says that no one knows the truth when the door is closed. There are times when closed doors should be nailed shut. Game of Thrones and Hodor spring to mind. They know the full truth. Well, if you hadn't shown us how you tell lies and make mountains out of molehills just to suit you, then we might believe you. But I don't think so. You are just jealous troublemakers. Time to shut up now and get on with your lives. Tired of their bullshit already, the world has moved on from their never-ending drama and bitterness with so many more important issues around the globe to deal with. Famine, drought, wars and loss of lives via the pandemic, including loss of livelihoods, poverty, and they're still flogging the same old from ivory towers to the entire globe as they've always done. They chose to move onward and away, so why not do so and focus on positive ways forward rather than this constant dribble about the past? What self-obsessed, deluded people they are. One spectator commented, I started with surprise, then went through curiosity, then anger at these two-faced people and their continued biting of the hand that fed them. The only thing left is to laugh at their babyish antics. It is beyond belief that they actually think they are poor victims. And can you think of anything to do except snicker at them? 40-plus-year-olds throwing what can only be described as toddler tantrums as comedy gold. What do you think about the dishonestly cropped photo of Harry in the new trailer for him and Meghan? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.